What is up, everybody, and welcome back to The Jake Gagan Show. My name is Jake Gagan. I'm going to be your host today, and today we're going to be talking about the OMI token and the VV collectible team, guys. Now, as you know, I've said this publicly a ton of times, but this is a project that I'm most bullish on out of all my holdings, and I'm going to get into some of those reasons here, guys. But before we get in, guys, do me a favor, smash that like button. If you're new to this channel, subscribe to my channel, and you call me family. Leave me a comment. I get back to all comments within 24 hours. But obviously, if you're looking at the charts right now, guys, the market is bleeding. And that means that the OMI token is bleeding as well. And in times of uncertainty, in times of fear, in times of doubt, it's important to understand why you invested in certain projects and to take that long-term approach. So in this video, I'm really making this video for myself. I'm making this video for the Ecomi community. And I'm going to remind us why we're bullish on this project and why we have invested in it. Now, I've said this publicly, guys. I am not selling my OMI. I'm not even going to think about selling my OMI for what is it now? Another two years and 355 days? This is a long-term hold for me, and I know it is a long-term hold for a lot of you as well because I posted this on Twitter the other day when the market the market was crashing, and I said, like this tweet if you're still holding your OMI, and over 2,564 likes, people are liking this because, look, people are still holding this, guys, and the number one reason that I'm bullish on this project is because of the community. I'm talking about the most supportive loyal, loving community. I mean, it's the most fun community to interact with. Guys, we literally crashed the VV app for four weeks straight because all of us were on there trying to get NFTs, trying to get the ultra rares. Like this community is so much fun. And I always look at communities when I look to invest in projects. And that was the first thing I saw when I saw the Ecomi community. I was like, yo, these guys are absolutely insane. The most positive community. I mean, the markets are down. And sure, there's a little FUD for some, from some people, but 95% of people are still bullish on this project and 95% of people are still purchasing more OMI tokens, which I think is incredible. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be doing the same exact thing. Now, another reason that I'm bullish on this project, guys, is the leadership team. So you're looking at these two men here, and I'm going to talk about five men that I'm bullish on. It sounds interesting to say that, but I'm going to talk about five different people at this team that I'm bullish on. So you're looking at two right now. You can see Alfred Kahn, guys. He's here on the right, uh, the bigger gentleman. Alfred Kahn is the CEO of Chairman of Kid Tages. He is one of the guys that brought Pokemon, Cabbage Patch Kids, Yu-Gi-Oh!, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and a ton of other brands to the world. He is a icon in the licensing industry. He is an icon in the collectible industry, guys, and he is the head of licensing at Ecomi. Now, the other fellow that he's putting his hair on, you might be looking at him saying, wow, that guy's got some great hair. Well, yeah, he does. He has the greatest hair in cryptocurrency, and that is the CEO, David Yu. This guy has decades of experience in collecting. This guy has started multiple companies, all successful, over 10 companies, all very, very successful, and he is the CEO of Ecomi. Now, there's a few other people on here that I do want to talk about that are not on this page. And those guys are Reese Skellern, our community manager. Everybody loves Reese. Shout out Team Reese. Put Team Reese in the comments if you're part of Team Reese. He's the community manager. He keeps us updated. And I'll tell you what, he has done a phenomenal job of keeping the community updated to uh, being transparent and hearing our feedback and making adjustments when needed. And hopefully, Reese, we can get you on the show uh, to talk to the Ecomi community. We would love to do that here. Let me know. We can set it up. Another guy I want to talk about is our COO, our fearless leader, Dan Crowthers, guys. Dan Crowthers uh, has started multiple companies, very, very successful. And I'll tell you what, this guy is a sly businessman. I don't want to quote him, but he did say uh, on one of his interviews with Jason Pizzino, he was like, hey, when I go after licenses, I get those licenses. And excuse me, I believe it was with Jason Pizzino, but essentially what he was saying was like, look, I'm a go-getter. That guy's a shark. And we are proud to have him as our fearless leader, Dan Crowthers, our COO. And another guy that we just added to the team, guys, Trevor Dietz out of Los Angeles, California, coming from Riot Games. If you have not seen my interview with Trevor, I'll link it right here, guys. Go check it out. It was a phenomenal interview. He gave us a lot of insights into what was going on in the community community absolutely loved Trevor. I really loved having Trevor on the show. I thought it was a phenomenal show. But Trevor is the lead product developer, guys. He is going to add to the gamification of the VV app and this project that we are all so in love with. And I'm excited to see the work that Trevor has, guys. He gave us some insights on the podcast, but he talked about what it is like to bring on licensing. He talked about what it is like to make these NFTs, you know, 
uh, more interactive, to add different things to them. So look, the five people that are running this, and I know there's other people that we have not yet met. It's a strong team, guys. It's a very strong team. But the five people that are running this give me a lot of hope. And these are people that I put my trust in. And this is one of the reasons why I invested in the project. Now, another reason is the licensing, guys. So we've, we understand right now, as of today, we've rolled out about 16 licenses. And we've rolled out some great ones, guys. And we have announced, we've announced some great ones as well. We just announced Jurassic Park and Star Trek, which are going to be coming out this quarter. We've seen Toki Doki, Back to the Future. We just had a Batman drop. Um, phenomenal brands that we've already rolled out. DC, you name it. Uh, and there's other brands that are coming that have not yet launched, guys. And one of those is the NFL PA. Now, Obviously, guys, as a 25-year-old living here in America, I'm super bullish on the NFL PA for a ton of reasons because I love the NFL. But besides that is the, the number of people that support the NFL, guys. There are millions and millions of people that watch the NFL on a daily basis. So the fact that I can have my Tom Brady, my Leonard Fournette, uh, my Marshawn Lynch, my Des Bryant, my Drew Brees, you name it, guys. All these NFL players are going to be coming very soon to the VV app. And this was the first look that we got. Shout out to Ecomi Data. Go follow him on Twitter, at Ecomi Data. This is the first look at the NFL players, which are going to be huge. And then, look, you can also see here, guys, I don't want to get into this uh, in too much detail, but you can see here in the top right, that third square, the Marvel in the background. Look, like I said, there's 15, 16 brands that have launched right now. There's over 100 licenses that we secured. Do I think Marvel's one of them? Yes, I'm not going to get into it. I don't like to spread the, the speculation. We've seen what's happened, uh, so I don't want to stay away from that. But I do believe there's going to be massive, massive brands that are going to be coming soon that are going to shake up the world. But we'll focus on the ones that we've announced so far, like Jurassic Park, Star Trek, Back to the Future, NFLPA. These are big enough. Now, also, guys, on that note, it's only the Omi token is only available on four exchanges. So we know that it's available on Uniswap, it's on Bitforex, it's on Bitmax, it's on Gate.io. Nice exchanges, but David Yu, uh, our CEO, the best hair in cryptocurrency, he does have it. He told us that he is that we are going to be on one or two more exchanges in May. And obviously, there's a lot going on with the market. So I wouldn't be surprised if this got pushed back a little bit. But we do know that one or two exchanges is going to be coming out very soon. As you guys know, I'm a firm believer in the exchange effect. As more exchanges, as a token is more listed on more exchanges, more people have the ability to buy it. Therefore, usually increasing the price, in my opinion, and what we've seen so far. But who knows? So more exchanges is going to be uh, a, a good sign for the OMI token and more reputable exchanges as well. Now, another reason that I'm bullish, guys, on this project is because of the tokenomics. So as you can see right here, guys, almost 5 billion OMI tokens have been burnt. They burn tokens when you purchase on the marketplace. They burn tokens when you purchase NFTs, when they get sold, and they also do a buyback when needed. So there's going to be uh, some very exciting news around the, tokenom the tokenomics. I think this is one of the most underrated aspects of the OMI token. This is something that gets me most excited because I understand that they're going to keep burning, burning tokens. Obviously, guys, as we know, as supply goes down, what happens to demand? the demand obviously goes up. Now, this is something that's underrated as well, guys. The partnership with Rogers and Cohen that happened last week. So we've already seen uh, advertisements taking place in terms of YouTube. We've already seen some people have advertisement, advertisements, advertisements, sorry, I couldn't say that, on uh, the ESPN app. So we're gonna start launching this advertising to the people. And so far, the YouTubers and Twitter and, and the following has done a good job of organically, or, organically spreading this. But guys, as we start to grow, we're gonna need to get this to the masses and Rogers and Cohen will be the people that helps with this. Look, this past week, guys, we had the Batman uh, drop, which absolutely went very, very smooth. I thought it was the smoothest drop yet. So the team is improving, guys. We're out of beta. We're fully launching. I think a lot of us have to understand that this is a new project, guys. We're getting in very early. We had 250,000 people using the app with, I think, 25 people on the team. So it's like we got into this project very early. I think we kind of outpaced the expectations of what they had for their community, which is a good thing. And look, I'll say this. I'll say this again, guys. I'm holding this for the long term. I wanted to make this video because obviously when you see a lot of FUD out there, you see the markets crashing. It's normal to believe it. But look, I somehow I sometimes have to step away, understand why I invest in a project. And you know, for the economy project guys, the community, the team, the licensing, the NFT space, 
There's so many different reasons. So guys, if you found this, uh, this video valuable, do me a favor, smash that like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're new, and guys, leave me a comment. I get back to all comments within 24 hours. Shout out to the Akomi community. Shout out to the Akomi fam. I love you guys with all my heart. It's your boy, Jake Gagan, and we will see you on the moon. Peace out, everybody.